everybody. Welcome back to the pod. Today we have Mr. Roman on the pod again. Ooh. We're not gonna, even going to introduce Roman as a guest anymore. He's just like a co-host, like an honorary third co-host at this point. All right, all right. I like that. <laughs> all I'm looking at now is Roman. Are those avatars that you <laughs> showed? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see mine? Oh, you mean? So we you down yeah. you can download this um, app. It's called Lensa. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck was and that? they make avatars based on your pictures. And the, mine, I'm not even trying to boost myself. It looks like Angelina Jolie and Megan Fox put together. Don't even lie, but like kind of me still. Yeah, it does. I'm not trying to like. I don't look like them, but it kind of looks like them, but with a little bit of me sprinkled into it. I like it. It gives you like an like. You can't draw that, you know. Like some of them are fucking sick. Honestly, you, anyways, you download this app called Lenza, and then it creates these like avatars of you. <clears throat> Like, that looks like me, but like not really. Not that one. The other one did though. This Some look like-, like GTA characters from like Grand Theft Auto. Like, <laughs> it's actually really cool. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> that looks like me. Like Corella Deville. It looks like Maleficent. Yeah, Angelina Jolie. Okay, anyways, um, it actually does look a lot like Angelina Jolie. So, what's new in your life that you'd like to share on the pod? Uh, I cut my finger today. <laughs> kind of sucks. Hurts. He literally dr- he sent me a picture of his finger with a sad <laughs> face. I was like, "What happened?" He's like, "I drilled my finger." I'm like, "No, oh, gross." Cool. How about you? Mm, nothing really. Um, Christmas shopping because Christmas is coming up. So, oh man, I try to make, I try to make a budget, and then I never stick to the budget. I always go over it. I have not I started. Yet. I just like giving gifts. So, <laughs> me and Rome were like deathly ill like last week, mm-hmm. dude. If you guys are like getting sick with whatever the fuck is going around right now good luck because it was not fun yeah it's like omicron's older brother yeah <laughs> older more aggressive brother <laughs> yeah. okay i'm not trying to be controversial right now but have you noticed that when now when everyone's sick it's just the flu yeah like on the news it was like flu season everyone's getting the flu like what happened to covid cases it disappeared today? because now they're trying to push the climate change agenda i already, I already we already know this but now they're just pushing pushing <laughs> pushing <laughs> Now they're just pushing flu shots. Dude, like was- I get notifications on my phone. It's like, get your flu shot. Like, since when do you get notifications on your phone that says get your flu shot? Yeah. If you get a flu shot every year, good for you. Like, I don't really, like, that's that's cool. I don't think it's good for you, but. I mean, like, if that's what you've do always it. done, then whatever. <laughs> I've never gotten a flu shot in my Ever. life. So like, why the why fuck you, am I getting texts now? Why do you need to protect now? yourself against the flu? Like. Yeah, like, okay, though, like I'm take not a gonna, fucking week off work and shut up. Like, I'm not going to lie, though, that whatever flu, flu we had was it. actually worse than COVID. Yeah, but it can go away with just healing and, and like... Yeah, it went away after, know? like, two days, but, like, it was fucked. Like, I actually thought I needed to go to the ER. You know, in the, in, at night when me and Roman were sleeping, I was moaning and groaning. I'm not joking. Like, no. it was it was so bad. But anyways... Yeah, I feel like now that we live together, we had... <laughs> We have like annoying shit about us when yeah, we sleep. Yeah, let me, let me <laughs> tell you the top. You want like your space when you sleep. Now you're just always like with Yeah, it's fucking annoying. Yeah, that part's she annoying. was sick, I literally just couldn't sleep. Like you can't just like go. <laughs> you're the top three You things. can't just be like, I'm going home to like go to bed. Yeah, exactly. Well, you could if you wanted to, I guess. I mean, that I mean, would could, probably be so weird. That's, probably, that's really weird. Go to like, my parents' house. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to sleep at my mom's house. Fuck you. Like, I feel like it, you're forced. Or on the couch. You can sleep on the couch, but like. Yeah, I was debating. Yeah, I offered that Heavily debating on but anyway, so these are the top two things I learned that annoy me about Roman well, since we've been living together. It's Number one, gaming. you guys are the ick thing. <laughs> no. Yeah, the ick. We'll, we'll probably get to that soon. Gaming is not one. Oh, actually, yeah, there's three things. Number one <laughs> is, so we all know Roman wakes up at 5 a.m., okay? Because he doesn't let anybody fucking forget it. And yeah, I, I respect that. Like, you need to go to bed by like 9, 30, 10. And that's cool. Whatever. I don't always go to bed at like 9, 30, 10. I'm still like doing shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'll like go to bed at like 11, 11, 30. I wake up at like 7, 7, 30. Sometimes 8 if I'm pushing it. But Rome wakes up very, very early. And I need to respect the fact that like Rome goes to bed early by not making noise when he's like going to bed and like kind of Dude, like- I don't care if you make noise. No, no. But like, I'm like not going to make obnoxious noise. But you- when you wake up at 5 a.m. and I don't want to wake up yet and he goes into the bathroom and blows his nose so loud. No, no, no. You guys don't understand how loud this man blows You can his go nose. back to sleep. But you woke me up already. <laughs> you woke me up at 5 a.m. by blowing your nose like maybe 10 times in the bathroom like loud. Like, like not like a... He like, well, leave the door open while I'm sleeping there and blow his yeah, nose. What do you want me to do though? Like, <laughs> like at least close the door and like try and blow it like discreetly. I or, like, do close the door. Or go in the other bathroom. Like we I have mean, multiple you gotta bathrooms. You got to get the boogers out, man. You gotta, you, 
You need to put some back into okay, well, it. That's like, that's, that, <laughs> like, I'm just going to fall out. You know. <laughs> like, okay, but come on. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? What's number two? Number two. Uh, this is kind of rude. Okay, no, I'm, I'm going to skip wow, number two. No. Number three. <laughs> I was going to say when you like cough super, super loud, but that's rude because you had a cough. But it was waking me up the whole <laughs> yeah, night. You were literally just talking about how sick. <laughs> when I sneeze, when you cough. No, yeah. but he, when you, when you breathe, he I fucking does, hate it. <laughs> he'll do it so excessively. Like he'll cough so loud the bed rumbles and I'm just like looking at him like, dude, or like he'll cough facing me, which is how I probably got sick because I was not sick. Yeah, yeah. Then the third thing is, um, which happened today, he was gaming and he was just screaming and the door was closed and I was downstairs in another room and he was <laughs> that like- That I do, that like, I do. He was like, Joe, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, and I came upstairs calmly. I'm like, hey, I'm on a call for work. Can you please just like not yell? He's like, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe two seconds later again, he's like, no, <laughs> fuck. And I'm like, and the thing is the room where he gains will eventually be like my office too. Like one side of the room, like I have my desk for my office. <coughs> and then the other side is his gaming like area. But right now I don't have my desk set up yet. So I'm like working downstairs in the kitchen. I don't know what's going to happen when I start taking calls and working in the office and you come home from work and well, start when you're gaming. in the room, it's different, right? Like you're there. I can see you like. Not really because our backs are towards each other. But. I know, but like it's different. Like your, your presence is there. When you're like downstairs, I can't tell if I'm being loud or not. You know, like I don't know how loud I'm talking. I got a fucking headphones on, you know? Okay. So what are yours? <laughs> Nothing. Peas? Yeah. How many dishes you use? <laughs> Yo, shall we eat like one thing with a fork? Or take like one bite of something with a fork and then like just get a new fork to take a second bite. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> like, okay, because, okay, because- Have a, one glass of water and then like get another glass and fill it with water too. It's just like, why don't you just use the same glass or like, you it's know? It's not like you wash them though. We have a dishwasher. So it's like, who cares? But like, I don't know. Wasteful. Is that it? That's about it really. So far. So far. Already. And the fact that you get mad that I wake up early. like I don't- okay. <laughs> I do not get mad that you wake up early. I don't <laughs> care. It's just like, not everyone wants to wake up at the same time as you. Okay, also, oh my God, this is this is like a therapy session. Our bed has like, is like a storage bed, right? So like underneath there's drawers. And Rome gets his work clothes from underneath the drawers. But I'm sleeping on the bed. And I don't know, if it was me, I'd like calmly close the drawers I when do. I'm done. You're like- Yeah, I'm setting up a GoPro tonight. <laughs> Actually, do this it. This is lies. This is blasphemy now. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is lies. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, that's it for our little updates of the week. Do you guys ever just, like, walk past each other and, like, not say anything? Yo, I, I actually yeah. caught myself doing that Like, ever just, like... Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But, like, like I'm alone most of the- She was on the couch one time, and I literally just, like... I walked by her, I was like, should I, like, say something <laughs> like, that I'm going hey. upstairs? And then I was just like... I'm like, no, right? <laughs> and I just kind of walked upstairs and didn't it's say anything. It's kind of weird at like, first, because, like... You see, like, I'm in the bathroom, like... Like, like I'm going upstairs or I'm going for like a nap or something. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll catch myself narrating. I'm like, why do I need to do this? Like, what the fuck? Or like, I don't know. It's kind of weird, you know, because we're not really together all the time because like you work during the day and you leave earlier than me. So when I wake up, it's still as if like, we're not, I don't know. Cause we don't, it's, it's not like, like you work from over home to your too. house every yeah, but on day. the weekends, <laughs> not. I guess it's just like a sleepover on the weekend. Yeah. It just seems like normal. Like before, cause when I wake up, he's still not there. So I'm just like doing my own During thing. During the week, it's not like, that not, crazy, yeah. but weekends like, like are, are like, nice. Like, like lately, he's been getting home from work and he'll just like go upstairs, shower, and game, and I'm still working, and then like make dinner, and then like eat dinner, but like barely talk. <laughs> like, no, we we talk. Like, yeah, but and stuff. But like, if you're working, <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? Barely talk. <laughs> I mean, we do. We don't barely talk. Anyways, okay. Anyways, we're this is getting way too much. Nobody fucking cares. Yeah, it's not that deep. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. um, so we want to talk about some topics today. Go for it. Oh. I saw your story. Did you watch the Sebastian comedy? No, <gasps> it's Wednesday. We gotta watch it. No, it's tonight. Wednesday. It came out. It came out. To, uh, yesterday December sixth. Sixth. Yeah. So that's tonight. So when I get home, I might watch it. Same. Yeah, watch it. Watch it. Yeah, same. Oh wait, not same. He's hilarious. That oh. guy. Oh my god. Do you want to watch it when we get home? Not tonight. I'm down to watch it. Like, he has even if more early. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Brandy knows. <laughs> okay. I'm down to watch it maybe on the weekend, so we can like maybe drink some wine and watch it. Make it spicy. You know? Yeah. I want to mention this because it's sad. Okay, mention it. Is it coming up before Christmas episode? I always yeah. forget. Okay, there's... Okay, so I saw the story. I won't even talk about this. It's kind of sad. Where there are nine dogs being put down before Christmas at Burger Blanc Laval Shelter in Quebec unless they get adopted before Christmas. 
So we'll put like a link maybe in our bio. Yeah. Uh, in our link tree that you guys yeah. can check out if like, you know, any people that want to adopt <laughs> or if you know shelters or rescues that are taking dogs right now. Because they're like so young. I was sending Sam. They're like one years old. The oldest is like four. That's really sad. But and why getting, are they putting them down? Because there's no room. No space, I guess. So they're getting euthanized if they're not adopted before Christmas. Which is, I mean, that's kind of fucked. Like, why don't you just let them in the wild at least? Like, they're animals, you know? They have a better chance. At least they have a chance of surviving. Oh like, why are you going to kill the fucking thing? Like, Speaking of the wild, did I tell the corgi story on here? <clears throat> I think so. No, I didn't. I think you did. Did I? The corgi that got lost? No, because we had Dr. Morgan last week, so I wouldn't have said it. The week before that was Roman though. And was it still lost before that or no? I don't think so. You said it, he was lost for two weeks. I'm pretty sure. So have I told this story? I'm pretty anyways, sure. Anyways, you found the corgi. Anyways, the lost corgi that was in our area that was lost for two weeks, I literally saw from the top of the gym. The guy fucking messaged me and Fran because it, like he basically messaged everyone that was helping him in our area find this dog. And he was like, hi, Glory came home today. We're like, bro, we were convinced this dog died. This dog was lost in the Richmond Hill area for like mm -hmm. two weeks. A small little fucking corgi. We're like, oh, wh what do you mean? Like, where'd you find it? He was like, well, every morning I was opening my door to just see if he was there, like to see if she was there. One morning he opened his door and the dog is in the driveway wagging its tail. <laughs> That's like such a it nice found story. its way home. After 14 days. It was probably running days. away from everybody trying to bring it home. So it was like, fuck off. I just want to like find yeah, my own way home. Yeah, mm -hmm. anyways, pretty cute. Um, so what do we think about Kanye West's whole situation going on? Oh, that guy's crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like people want to defend him because, like, it's Kanye West. You can't. You can't. But, like, Dude, you can guy, only defend guy... so much. The guy's literally, like... No, Francis showed me what he said on TikTok, and I was like, how? What, the whole yeah. thing? Yeah. The Nazi thing, and I was like... Okay, listen. How? I agree with some of the things Kanye has has said up until recently. That's I'm what I'm just, saying. Like, like people... Some have you agree like, uh, what have you agreed on, though? Okay, I don't look that much deep into it, but I sometimes agree with the way that he thinks in terms of like pushing some of the boundaries of like quote unquote elites. But then at the same time, it's like he's also kind of an elite, isn't he? So it's just like confusing. Well, so not I don't anymore. Really... They canceled like his Apple Pay and shit. So. Yeah, they like canceled his <laughs> Apple Pay and Twitter. Isn't that but sad? Anyway. Well, they canceled his what Twitter. Mean, Apple sad. Pay. So he can't, Apple canceled his ability to use Apple Pay. You can't use his credit card on Apple. On I Apple. guess like celebrities don't have wallets and stuff, right? Because like people can steal them or something. Like, so they don't have cards or anything. They usually so just use it all digitally. So yeah, they just fucking. Well, he has no access to his money. I'm confused. Well, I'm sure he does, but he was kind of making the point. He was like, um, you can say one thing and like these big companies literally control everything you do. He's like, I can't, I don't have free speech on Twitter. I can't use my Apple Pay. Okay. But these like, like apps okay. and stuff, like you agree to these terms of service when you sign up for them. Like, no, I know, I know. You know, no, like, totally. I <laughs> never really hated him before. I never even really listened to his music Me that either. much. But sometimes I was like, okay, you make a good point. And also like, I just felt like he was like troubled, like mentally troubled. And I kind of felt bad. And I felt like people would make fun of him. His family taken away from him, you know? Like, probably, I just felt just like people crazy. were on his case. And I'm just like, but I think that he's like mentally troubled. Like, I don't think that we should be kind of, I don't know. I Taking just felt what like he, he says literally. Yeah, but up until recently, I'm just like, okay, he needs to, he needs to, he needs to go. I mean, dude, dude I swear it's been like two years, like yeah. since COVID started. No, yeah, I remember this guy shit. just tweeting fuck shit like all the time. Yeah, but I think it's just come up to like, like a, just a peak now. He was on, I don't know what show it was, but he was wearing a fucking mask that covered his whole face. You can't even see him. Some Tripping people don't Jewish even think. Some, yeah, and he was like Jewish talking about power, how the like, no, he was talking about how the Holocaust didn't even really happen. How Hitler uh, was actually a really good guy and how he invented something. What did, he, what did he say he invented? The microphone? He's like, yeah, he invented the thing that I used to make so a living today. So he brainwash <laughs> the but population really, of his country. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he invented the microphone. It's the thing that I used to make a living today. And he didn't even kill 6 million Jews. And everyone, and everyone's just like, I mean, like tech, like if you want to get technical, he didn't physically kill 6 million Jews, obviously, but like he, he, his he regime was the orchestrator and his, of it. Yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> he was just basically saying that like, it, it, it was just like anti-Semitic, obviously. Like, is that? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Um, so have you, have you guys heard about the Balenciaga thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, with the children? That's yeah. Up. But yeah, that's so weird. Kanye, everyone was saying like, oh, Kanye was right about that, saying that like, big companies and elite companies are fucked in like the way they do things and then just expect like go along with it. Mm. But I don't think 
that's ever going to get canceled. I don't think any big fashion company would get canceled. Okay. Yeah. Because Can I tell you something? How about Shein? Shein is literally child slavery. And so is Zara. Zara is like low labor wages. No one cancels that because of like why? Oh, look at Nike. Are- Didn't Nike have like sweatshops yeah. in like Pakistan? Yeah. Like it's literal children making these Those shoes? things are not going to get canceled. Like there's no way any of those things are going to get canceled. And can I tell you something? What's pissing me off about this Balenciaga thing? These fucking celebrities showing that they're putting it in trash bags. Like- you already yeah, fucking like you're paid fucking, for it. No, and they you already, already go buy another one tomorrow. Yeah, but it, like it's like nothing. everyone just does things for the fucking sake of public image. Like really. So I saw a TikTok where this girl was throwing out her paintings of Balenciaga, and then people in the comments said, "Why the fuck are you throwing those out? Like you can repurpose them yeah. or like send them to like a, like a designer so they can like redo it or like Salvation sell Army them. or something. Yeah, like, or like or like keep the frames. And then the girl in the comments was like, "Oh my god, I was just nervous. Like yeah. people were telling me to throw them out." So you're just throwing them out because people are telling you to do that. Like, Cause yeah, you want to, you want to panic and look good. Yeah. So you're not follower. cancel culture. Like do like people don't think for themselves. People, Dude, it was, it, I, I know this is like a touchy subject, but it was the same. I felt that way with like, with, with like tragedies too. Like when, when something bad happens around the world and like everyone just jumps in to be like, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, do you really give a fuck what yeah. happened in like Malaysia? Like, do you no, actually no, no, care? True. Do you how genuinely about, how about, care? You know, how about, like, uh, Black Lives Matter <laughs> movement. Everyone posting that black square. Like, yeah. People literally just did that for, because everybody else was doing it. Yeah. Like, everyone what else was just are you doing it? to show that you're like advocating for that? Other than yeah. posting a fucking black square and then deleting it and archiving it. Cause it's not aesthetic on Instagram. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? How crazy I personally, is that? Like, when like, that, when no that, sense. like for that movement, <laughs> I didn't understand, like, I'm going to be completely honest here and like, I guess shit on, but I didn't completely understand the whole Black Lives Matter movement at first. Like I understood why it like started an uproar with the whole George Floyd thing, but I didn't like understand like the past experiences of those of black people because like I'm I don't have that generational trauma and I'm not black, you know what I mean? So I can never understand. So when that all happened, I know it was during COVID and everyone had like a lot of downtime. I remember we actually went and researched and I talked to pe- my friends, people of color, and they sent me links. So like read this. Like it'll help you understand like why this movement is happening the way it is. And it actually did help me understand. Mm-hmm. I think like I'm not perfect and I'm not saying, oh my God, like, look, I like educated myself, but I think like actually reading into things and not just posting the black box and being like black lives matter. You know how many people probably fucking did that? They had no clue what, like yeah. what was even behind the movement. No, but then they deleted yeah. it like a week later. Cause it's like, yeah. it's the same <laughs> yeah, thing. They posted they them on vacation. Like, but it's the same like, thing with the, this, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Balenciaga thing. Everyone's going to forget. Everyone is going to forget exactly. about it. Exactly. Okay. These celebrities. They're doing it on purpose. It creates an uproar. Who, who did I see specifically? I think it was Brittany Aldine. I don't know. I think it was her. And she was like, uh, it was a post of her literally putting her Balenciaga stuff into a trash bag. And the, the caption was like taking the trash out today or something. And I'm just like, Hey, you, you gave the money and you wasted fucking clothing. That yeah. Way to charity. Like, great but like, job. You're poverty. a good person. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I don't want to speak on like, like, maybe she did something else to like give back. I don't know. But like, there's just way too many people doing this for fame. And it's almost like, if Dude, you really think jump about on it, any no, opportunity wait, to get famous or like good clout. If you really like, think about you know what it, mean? what if this whole Balenciaga thing is really just a marketing ploy mm-hmm. from Balenciaga? Because it's how, not good. I mean, any publicity it's not is good, good publicity, publicity, but like, but like was I, I'm not into Balenciaga and shit like that. Like, I honestly don't even mm-hmm. own anything Balenciaga. I don't care. But like, maybe they were like falling off with all these new trends and all these new designers like coming to fruition now and kind of like nah, getting popular. Cardi B was like singing about the brand and all her I music. Yeah, but like, maybe they, I think, they're not, I think, they weren't falling off. They weren't I think pedophilia off. is a big thing. Sorry. And oh, 100%. the elite world. And that's like it's assumption to make is like huge. But like, dude. What what other target audience are you targeting? With yeah. kids in BDSM bags with chains around their necks and shit. Like I don't look at that and I'm like, cool, I want to buy that bag because a kid. It, you know what I mean? Like I just don't understand the marketing behind that. Like you obviously had a marketing team and strategists come up with that strategy. I feel like we it's both like, work in marketing and we can't look at that and be like, I, I feel, understand I feel the like story. Europeans are very weird with like nudity and, and stuff like that. Like it, they're, they're on like a different level when it comes to like. But child nudity and child. They're weird, you know, man. I feel like Europeans are weird with that. They have naked fucking statues everywhere. They love dick. <laughs> like they love seeing dick <laughs> on their the statues. What the fuck does that have to do I with I don't anything? know. Like maybe they're just weird like that. They just like, like it's not bad to them to like. I don't know. I honestly I just think. Yeah, but then you have to think they're not just targeting European people. Like it's a world. Yeah, it's true. I just yeah. don't think, I think that there's like a larger thing at play with this whole Balenciaga thing. I don't think it's just, can you like stop wiggling the table? 
I don't think it's just, oh, it was a bad public, it, it was a bad marketing campaign. That's it. Like, I really think, I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy, but I really think this is a distraction from something bigger that's happening. It could very well be like. And I also think that on the flip side, like I just said, it could also be one of their own like marketing tactics. Now we're all talking about it. Maybe this is a way for them to evolve and grow as a brand. Maybe they did all this for us to be like, fuck you guys. This was really bad creative direction and you guys are all fucked up. Now they're mm -hmm. going to like come out with some like great thing that's going to like level them up to the top again. Yeah, like we, we donated 10 billion million yeah, dollars yeah. To, to this child fundraiser. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like <laughs> now we're sketch. creating purses of all eco-friendly yeah, yeah. matter. Sustainable material. They no longer cost two grand for a little fucking <sighs> micro purse like this. We turned all children abusers into purses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and they're selling them. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. I have a question. Do you guys remember your childhood or no? I don't remember jack shit. You know what's not like my childhood. normal and not healthy? To remember your childhood? I only remember some Me and core Sam memories. were doing, do you remember when? And I came up with two and it was the exact same ones that Isn't she that came weird? up with. Okay, so we did this TikTok, okay? And it was just like a, a trend like, do you remember when? Dot, dot, dot. And we both wrote things down. And the two things that we wrote down was number exact one. Same. The exact same. The first one was, do you remember when we used to sleep together like when we were younger <laughs> and make up Horror, non-fiction, is non-fiction fake? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember when we used to sleep no, together? No, sorry, fiction is fake. Fiction's fake. Do you remember when we used to sleep together when we were younger and make up fictional stories about our Portuguese teacher <laughs> and how she got eaten by a whale and then we would make up these stories because we hated her so fucking much and we would just like follow along. We like laugh. So I would we be like- just laugh. I would be like, yes, <laughs> was watch walking down the street and then she got hit by a- <laughs> That's fucked. And then Fran would be like, then they had to take her to the hospital and she got eaten by a whale. Sam, and she was we should swimming. be saying her name. Like, what if it's his daughter? Yeah, you or... should definitely blur that out. Okay. You shouldn't ever like mention people. Okay, let's, let's bleep that. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's like a celebrity. Okay, we, did, we said it two times, so we don't have to bleep it two times. Anyways. Okay, that sounds bad, but we basically used to just make up stories about her because she was like very evil. Like she was so evil. And that was the first core memory. She was evil because we were from we, we, we weren't, we weren't Portuguese. We weren't we Portuguese. Went to, we were Italian we were, and didn't know yeah. a lick of Portuguese. And everyone yeah. there in that area knew Portuguese. Yeah, well, we, we, I didn't even know like they were allowed to. I thought like in anywhere in Canada, like they had to teach like French. French. Yeah, but no, in that was like that school was like Portuguese the, the school. We went French, to a Portuguese, was Portuguese. Yeah. school. And then me and joke. Sam used to go in a different room and eat guys. ice cream and, and, and snacks. <laughs> Basically, the people who were fucking <laughs> shit at Portuguese and weren't Portuguese, like all the Italian kids. We would go to, like, it was almost like a room 107 for us. Like, it was like a room mm -hmm. where like we got like C's and D's in Portuguese. And we'd have to go to this room and they'd give us chocolate milk and like butter cookies with like the Italians, uh, other Italian outcasts. And yeah. we would go there during Portuguese class. <laughs> That's why she hated us so much. That's why she hated us. But anyways, that was the first core memory we both remembered from our childhood. There was three. Second one was singing American Idol at the back of the car. And like making our mom and dad rate our singing. Like we used to belt in the back of the car and we used to make our parents rate really? us. Really? Yeah, like so random. Did they, were they annoyed or were they like actually? No, they would actually. Guy? They would actually listen and rate us. Like my dad would actually be critical. Like he would criticize it. <laughs> Your A notes were a little yeah. too high. <laughs> he would be like, "No, it sounded like shit." And then the third one was what was the third one? We made up a dance to Metro Station. No, there was four. That and then the Italy one. We made up a dance to you know Shake It by Metro Station. It was like, the shake, 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 shake. And performed shake, it toward shake. No. Come on. Yeah, and my nonno was there like. He was like, he, yeah. he was like, it. <laughs> and we were just in our playroom and our spare room. We're just like, fuck that. I don't even know. And then the fourth one was we made a song up in Italy and we remember the song lyrics. Like, I can sing it right now. We're not going to, but we won't. But <laughs> we were so bored. I one think time. you actually sung this song to me yeah, before. Yeah, I think I have. We were she so, sings it around the house. I swear we to God, so I've heard bored her one time sing it around the house. And <clears throat> in Italy. And this was back in the day where like we were, I was probably like, how old was I? Like 12? Yeah. 11, 10, 9, she was like nine. Like we we're like eight and 11. Nowadays, 10 and nine year olds have phones, but we didn't have jack shit. So we had to just, oh, what the fuck? That was mine, sorry. Oh, it's okay. So we had to like make do with what we had and we had uh, imaginations and we wrote a song. But for some reason, we both remember the full lyrics to the song to this day. Cause it's actually a good song, that's why. But those are the four core memories that we have from childhood. Everything else is very like, no, I don't, I don't really, remember anything. You can literally ask me like, how was like age 10 to 12 for I, you? I and I have, you. I have no fucking idea. Yeah. But apparently something triggers that. Like you're like, you're, it's not normal to not know 
your childhood. Yeah, I feel like don't. just there's like certain like maybe like a smell or like something you see or hear like triggers a memory from your past. You know, like, no, but I, think I can't just like think and be like, I'm not what kidding. It was I doing? No, but I, I think 10. she's saying there's something that triggers you not to be able to oh, remember. Oh, like, like I don't remember. Like I can only remember literally like maybe grade eight. Like that's I can't remember like anything yeah. past that. So you don't remember like other than that whole Portuguese teacher room thing with the chocolate milk. You don't remember anything from like going to that school. I remember being choked by somebody. <laughs> you remember like traumatic things. Yeah. Which well, is, obviously. Which is, yeah, but it's like, why well, don't I remember any good things? Like, and I remember going to church a lot. Church? And we used to laugh in church. And dad used to get so upset that we used to laugh Where, in Where, in Richmond Hill? Yeah, with- Father John? Yeah, Father John. <laughs> Damn. Like okay, so where, where were you going with this Father combo? John. I was just saying, like, do you guys remember your childhood? And if not, it's in your child work. Yeah, it's apparently like not normal that you don't remember it because there's a triggering event or events that make you like not want to remember it. Whether it's really? like whether it's like your relationship with like your dad or your mom that like maybe triggered like mm -hmm. an age point for you, like. For example, like for us, like we weren't allowed saying, no, we weren't allowed, but like, do we really even say our emotions? Not really. Like, um, when have you ever really remembered talking about your emotions? To yeah, mom or dad? I never did. I'm not saying it in a bad way, but like. Wait, before, before we touch on that, it's like, I think people are scared to talk about like the things that they lacked in childhood, especially if you were very like fortunate. Like we were very fortunate in our childhood. So were you. Mm -hmm. And like, it's like, you don't want to say, oh, this was lacking because you almost don't want to like offend your parents because they were such good parents but like that's the thing if you not, don't address it though it's like where yeah, do these things it's come generational from? Yeah. you know but like yeah she's right like i never not that like i wasn't allowed to it was just never a thing to like express your emotions yeah. like go up like we would cry if we got hurt but like it wasn't like i feel like this today or like i'm upset right now and anxious right now because of this and i think that that's also why i get so i can get so anxious so quick now never because i i, I don't know how yeah, yeah i don't know how to like express myself so i can easily get anxious mm -hmm. whereas like maybe if it was someone who like talked through their emotions as a child and like triggers that like made them upset or anxious rather than just holding it in and like yeah. being told to like you know just suck it up you're fine like yeah. you know it'd be different and again it's it sucks to like talk about this but everyone you have it too i don't know what yours would be but like if you really thought about it what do you think it would be my childhood trauma not trauma just like like behaviors that you have now that you think are maybe because of something that was lacking in your childhood that's what i'm saying like i can't really like remember i don't remember that's most of my childhood, childhood. You have like, like really sorry you have to like really dig deep and think like when yeah. you're sad, like what didn't I get from my dad and what didn't I get from my mom when I was sad or like happy. Which again is hard because we all have such good parents. So it's like, you almost don't want to like say anything because then then it's like, you don't want to make them feel bad. And you want, you know? Yeah. But that's how you work at it. Shadow work. Okay, let's eat these snacks. Okay. Um, Is that all you want to talk about today? Yes. Okay. Well, since Roman's here, we're going to do our favorite segment, which is trying international snacks. Oh, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to- Go ahead. You introduce the first snacks. one. Well, you got them, so you got- You, you, you go first. Okay. I'll do this Read one Read what it is and where it's from. We have Miji Yan Yan Vanilla Creme. Cracker stick with dip from- mm. Where do you say it's from? Where do you, where do you find that it's from? Just say like made by the barcode, maybe? It might say made in- uh, It's South American. That's it? Made somewhere on the west. <laughs> somewhere somewhere in the south of France. Okay. It's, those are French? No. I was, uh. just, I was just joshing. <laughs> Ugh, the cream. That, does that reminds me of like something oddly specific, like Dunkaroos. a childhood snack. That smells like yard. Dunkaroos, yeah. No, no, there was one with cheese. Oh, I know exactly what you smells one. weird. Smell oh like my her. God, um, Baby Bell or something. No, no, it was literally a cracker yeah. that you yeah, dipped in a cracker about. stick with the yellow yeah. cheese. Yeah, dude, they, we literally had these snacks. That cheese just looks fucking nasty, though. I don't think it's cheese. Oh, that's a lot. Like, relax. <laughs> I'm acting like I've already eaten it. Okay, wait. We all, oh, oh, la, la. we all have to try it together. I feel like it'd be better if it was cheese. Like, what? What is it? I don't vanilla. Know. Oh, that, that, this is gonna be good. Then. Vanilla cheese. No. <laughs> what the fuck does it say? Cat has nine lives. Mine says my Sheep, wolf neighbor. sweaters. Wait, okay, yo, this is kind of weird. Why? Because what if it's a message? Okay, Sam. No, it's a joke. <laughs> it says the animal ass. and then it's a joke about the animal. Mine says horse and then it says my neighbor. You got it? Oh, mine says cat has nine lives. 
Sheep wool sweaters. That's not a joke. Well, wool, a wool sweater is made of sheep. Oh. Yeah, but that's kind of morbid. <laughs> it's a fucking cracker. <laughs> these are good, bro. I like these. Not bad. Don't worry, I'm it's not, not bad, but I think my brain thinks it's cheese. So it yeah, tastes, it like, tastes cheese. like cheese a little bit. Mm. That's some good ass cheese. <laughs> Does it not taste like cheese? Yeah. Well, definitely not cheese. cheese. <laughs> bro, it doesn't taste like cheese though. Is my brain putting chick on me? Yeah. It tastes like the- You know why? It tastes- Yo, it, it tastes exactly like that fucking cheese Jeez. cracker snack. Do you like it? It's good. The fact you're going for two means it's good. Okay, I'm next. That drink looks fucking nasty. I don't want to drink that. Yeah. Honey that... twist snack. Sweet and delicious. From- Korea. Korea. Nongshim. Nongshim. Zabuza. Another pet peeve of mine is your anime watching. Oh, I recently got into anime and I fucking love it. Don't eat it yet. No. Well, I, I watched like Dragon Ball Z and stuff, obviously, as a kid, but. <laughs> These kind of smell good. Cheers. Mmm. Very good. Um, okay, these are some good snacks. These I are like these. these are like underwhelming. They taste like hard churros or something. I like them. It actually tastes literally like a honey twist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty it good. It tastes exactly like how it sounds. It's just okay, like next. a twist of like a honey flavor. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. What are these? These are supposed to be frozen, Sam. But I really don't think they are. It literally. Look in the back picture. Yeah, I know, but whatever. Fuck it. It's literally a guy putting them in the freezer for Annie. <laughs> <I'm gonna throw laughs> on the back. Yeah, it literally says- Literally, it says to put it in the freezer. Hey, don't, don't like break them. Like, Anyone? don't spill them. How the fuck do you open it? You're nice. Should I get- What flavor did you guys get? You got white, you got purple. Let me get a different color. Let's get orange. Yeah, I'm not I sure. got mango. Here, here, mine open, mine open. Twist it, twist the top until it- That's- I feel Oh, like he has scissors. Oh, perfect. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Ew, this looks disgusting. We will not spill. Yo, maybe it's good, but I feel like it would actually be good if it was frozen. Yeah, it's like a freezy. It doesn't have a lot of sugar. For some reason, it has a lot of salt, which is oh kind, of, kind of weird. Okay, I don't want to cut mine here. The like salty okay, We'll just try this one. Dude, it looks like we're drinking some fucking Shrek potion. I know. It kinda, it's kind of cool. Huh? It's not cool. Oh, I'm scared. Like Princess Fiona's like ogre potion, you know? Okay, <gasps> Oh, Cheers. you drink it. I'm juicing. Don't get, don't get in your mic. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's like a bubble tea. I'm um, so thirsty. I'm gonna chug this right now. Mm -hmm. It literally tastes like a bubble tea. Mmm. Okay. Another good Would snack. You switch. Mm. Oh. I mean, it's definitely like, why does it need to be the shape of an anal bead? But it's definitely good. <laughs> like, they could definitely work on the aesthetic design of it. Okay, like, why I, the fuck does it look like this? I also but. think that we forget that, like, for this segment, like, not everyone's watching on YouTube. Like, some people are listening and they're just hearing a slurp and not describe what we're eating. Okay. It's a tube filled with milk Liquid. powder and water. It essentially tastes like a bubble tea. Like a definitely. sugary bubble tea. I don't like it. It kind of tastes like medicine. You got grape though, right? Yeah. Oh, you got honey melon. I That's would try this thing. again if it was frozen. Yeah, I think frozen, this is a good snack. I think you should actually keep these. Okay. Please don't eat them. That'd be good. Want me to put them in the freezer? Now we have yeah. tamarind drink. I don't know what tamarind is. It sounds unpleasant. I think I'm not drink drinking that. You have to. I'm fully not you drinking that. To. Smell that right now. I honestly just want to take a sip without smelling it. Just for the- No, smell it please. <laughs> Wait, let me smell it. Probably like a canned fart. It tastes, it tastes like acid. Okay, for those of you listening, it's a tamarind drink. Why it doesn't smell nostril. It smells weird. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, put your nose in it. Why are you doing it like that? I can't Ew, smell anything. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to like... It just smells like a nut. Okay, taste dude. it. No, you first. No, you first. Really? It's not bad. No, it's fine. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like engine fuel. Yeah, it does. I'm scared. I think it's I think it's oh. engine fuel. Dude, like look how sketchy the <laughs> label is. They literally put like a paper label on top of the can. Like I feel like for anyone listening, like you definitely need to tune in and watch this part. How do you like it? Bro, that's like It tastes vile. like Red Bull kind of, but like just like a it's nut not, Red Bull. No, it no, it it tastes like Red Bull that's like expired. That tastes All like right. shit. Well, <laughs> that's that tastes fun like. Fun times. <laughs> um we love this segment when Roman comes on trying these little snacks. Honestly, like maybe like in general, like a seven out of ten. Yeah, it was better than last like, round for yo, sure. Yo, that fucking seaweed stick yeah, was, was the worst thing. Big ever. roll. <laughs> yeah, it said big roll on it. You know, big roll. These were good. These were good, and that was pretty good. Dude, this the mango one was fire. You yeah. guys gotta try the mango one. Wait, what other one do we have? I don't know. Wasn't there four? There's five flavors. There's no. There's wasn't there four snacks? Yeah, yeah the, the, she the has honey the bag. things. She has I the took bag. them. Um, oh, you actually like them? Yeah, I like those. Um, I do want to talk about one last thing before we sign off, which is something that we talked about on our TikTok. The law of assumption. So, okay. I know that like we see a lot of this online and it's like hocus pocus, like shit, like manifest this and manifest that. And like, it's weird because I think lately as I've stopped doing those rituals that are so extensive that are like write in your journal to manifest and make sure you do this at this time and on the, on the full moon, burn the sage and fucking put it <laughs> around your head and fucking kiss it and blah, blah, blah. After I stopped putting so much energy into, try, into trying to manifest things to happen for myself, I started actually feeling like things were happening because I stopped obsessing over things that I wanted and like stopped trying to make things happen. Like, make things happen in that way that I started just living it. You can manifest, and, but you can't like, that can't just be like your only effort. No, that's not what I mean. No, <laughs> but that's like, not what I mean. Happen, I mean, whatever, it's instead of manifesting the law of attraction, where I was like trying to attract opportunities and things I wanted, I started living by the law of assumption unknowingly. I just was like, you know what? Fuck this manifesting shit. Fuck these crystals. Honestly, really to rock. You know what I mean? Or you pay like $30 for yeah, I, think like it's, I think it's fucking I think it's really for, pretty. What? And I do Crazy. believe in like spirituality and all of that. But yeah. I think I was getting too obsessed with it. Like, oh my God, I need to do all these rituals to make X, Y, and Z happen. And I wasn't actually living life anymore. Yeah. So. No, no. Go. Keep going. No, I was just no, going to say, yeah, you can't like, you can't be extreme about it. You know, like you just got to. But I was. because like, like just genuinely live. Mm-hmm. Believing think, and manifesting <laughs> this stuff while you like continue your life. Don't you, you feel just like, be, like you were that way at one point? Like you wanted things to happen so bad. Like I even saw in your calendar when I lived at home, like you would like have different like ways of doing things each week, like right in my journal, this and that, you know? Not really. I, I was never really like crystal. I was never really rituals like you were. Like you were heavy into like rituals. I just like wrote in my journal, like, and kind of repeated the same shit like over and over again. But those are rituals, like practices. Yeah, but then when you look back, I found my old journal, look back, I did manifest a lot of shit that like I said, like last year that I have now. So I'm not saying it doesn't work. Law of attraction does work. I think it does work too. But like, I also manifested the things that like were in my journal, but is it really manifesting? Like, I think they just happen because I put in the work. I think the law of assumption is what works better than the law of attraction. And like some people might say it's the same thing, but basically what I'm saying is like the last six months after I stopped these rituals, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to like assume that I'm going to make it to the place that like is in my journal. I'm going to assume I'm going to get Fake this. Fake you make it. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's literally what I was doing. Like even as small as like purchasing something. Okay. I usually would contemplate and be like, no, I'm not going to purchase that for myself because like, that's a big thing. Mm. Like I want to make sure I'm like at the top over here. That's when I'll deserve it. But even recently I was like, I made a purchase and I was like, you know what? Let me just like fucking buy it. Like I do deserve it already. I don't need to wait until I get this thing to deserve spending money on this. You know, you have the yeah. money, just spend it. I wouldn't have thought that way before. I would have been like, no, I'm manifesting that I need to do it this way. After I, I shit you guys not. It's almost after, like a roadblock at that point. Like, yeah. Just like after I spent the money on this thing that was, I was just, like, it seems like so minuscule and stupid, but like, I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm already there. Let me spend the money. I got a phone call for an opportunity that I didn't even know was in the works. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. But I, after I bought this thing that I was contemplating buying for like months before and like I finally just fucking bought it. I was like, fuck it. Like I have the money to buy. Why not just fucking buy it? I don't need to like wait until I deserve it. Quote unquote. And now after I fucking bought yeah. it, I got the phone call and I was like, 
this is literally me just assuming I deserve things because I do and like assuming the life of that person I want to be in one, two, three years from now. And things are just like fucking flowing towards me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just thought I touched on that because like, I'm just going to keep living that way. I'm not going to like wake up in the morning, think that I need to do these ritualistic things for big movements or opportunities in my I life mean, unless to you like want to if that like makes you happy yeah. doing that then mm-hmm. do it but for but, like, me it did it i don't it felt think like that's a chore. like yeah if it feels like a chore i think it's the stupidest fucking thing to do then because like why are you doing you're just adding some useless shit into your day yeah, yeah. you can be spending doing something that you want to do yeah you know what like, do you what do you do for the first hour of your days <laughs> drive to fucking work <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you do for? Okay, I guess they've used different. Cause you literally wake up and go to I work. I blast rock music and I drive downtown in the darkness. What do you <laughs> make breakfast and start work? So, like, don't you feel like if you woke up a bit earlier and like had the first at least like half hour of your day to like just be with yourself, do you feel like that would make you feel like like calmer throughout the day, or like just better? Maybe, but I find time to do that in the day, like when I'm not busy at work. Mm. Yeah, wouldn't you rather like sleep in? I would like sleeping in would make me happier than waking That's up. That's what I mean. Like everyone's myself. always like, 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 like sometimes it's like, well, you sleep in. Like, why don't you wake up earlier? Well, like, because I want to fucking like I have work no, but that, from nine. No, but that's what my point was. Gonna no, be. but I'm saying like I have work from like nine to five. Work should be like the sometimes person even five thirty. Some people like to go to the gym and meditate and, and journal, whatever. But like I rather do it like if I, I have lunch from twelve to one yeah. break. On my lunch, like today, I bought the Untethered Soul journal that you had. And on my lunch, I wrote in that journal. I went for a walk with Kiki and that made me feel more energized for like the mm-hmm. next half of the day. Yeah. But that that's what that was going to be my point. It's like, I know like before when I was at home, Fran would like wake up right away and then go to work. And some people would be like, okay, but like, that's like, like not productive. That's blah, blah, ideal. Blah. But I like that lifestyle. She's doing it in the way that works I- for her. And I think that like, social media and stuff has like pushed these like routines on people that they feel like if they don't do it that way, like they're doing life wrong or they're not hustling. Because that person who told you to do it that way is making money off you watching videos and listening to them do it that way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's all fucking marketing. Sure, buy my day. PDF to show you how to like yeah, hustle a, more. Who's like, that guy? The, 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 look at my garage and my Lamborghinis. Buy my book. Entertain. No, no, no. What that fucking guy? He was all over YouTube ads. Tony Robbins. Ted, Ted something. Tony Robbins. No, no, man. I don't know. Ted Bundy. I don't know what my Ted Bundy. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, so I say him. Every time I hear Ted, uh, I think someone Bundy. in your comments will know. It's literally that guy who's always like, "I'm in my garage, you know, with my Lamborghinis, you know," and he's like, "I wouldn't have had all these this money, but if you buy my book, I'll tell you how to do, like yeah, like, yeah. Like, shit, you know. I don't it's just know. Like, I just feel like." This is like such a simple thing. Like, and people are probably like, okay, what the fuck are you trying to preach? But I'm just preaching. Like, I think you actually need to like, once you actually start doing things that feel good for yourself, things actually start happening to you because like attracts like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like lately, the first hour of my day, I'm just like doing what I feel like doing. Like sometimes that's going to the gym. Sometimes I'll go to the gym in the middle of the day, like you're saying, because like in the morning, I feel like just watching a Netflix show. Because like yeah, that's what's going to make me, in a bit or longer. sleeping in a bit or like some mornings I'll wake up really early and go to my nono's house and spend mm-hmm. time with them before. We're like, and ever since I've been doing what I feel called to do rather than sticking to this, like very, very Useless strict routine. routine for the first hour of the day. It's like, I don't know. I do think that like, structure matters and like it puts but a sense you have, of discipline. You have a job that builds structure. Like why work this job for free and do these chores for free? Yeah, he's right. Yeah, you know, no, you're it's literally like then, just wasting then, time. Then all of your day feels like a job that you have to tend to yeah. and wake up yeah. to at this time. It depends, like from person to person. Maybe people who are way more like who have a very free schedule or work for themselves. But that's the thing, only. right? It's different, but I don't know. I'm just basically saying, don't like buy into the bogus that you see on social media because I bought into a lot of that shit, and I genuinely just think that you need to just do like what you feel called to do, like every morning when you wake up or every day in general, and you're genuinely going to feel better. Listen, life's too short to be doing stupid shit. Just do a makes you happy you know do what makes you money do what can make you live a comfortable happy life with the people you love and that what more can you ask for you know what are you gonna do fucking live like a robot and do these chores every morning like till you die like you're like meditate journal yeah oh i gotta write in my journal at 7 35 p.m no, no i, I actually do this used to be like 7 42 p.m the full moon's out i gotta fucking <laughs> that was like, sam that was like me. yeah you don't want to do that with me i said no suit yourself like you don't want to manifest your wasn't dreams. that so stressful like, like knowing you like oh if you're running late doing something like you had to miss that like 
Yeah, I would yeah, feel guilty. It's just guilty. another thing that's just like bothering like, it you. It would be like, a full like, moon, no? and I'm like, oh my god, I need to use the moon's energy to exactly. harness my fucking what if, what if fucking bachelor was on? You had to miss bachelor to go do that shit. Yeah, and, I and would you had to have geez. dilemmas. Exactly. No, but seriously, it seems so. You're, you're literally fucking making first yourself world problems. unhappy for no reason. It seems like. so first world problems, but I'd be like, fuck. Do I watch Bachelor? Or do I do my full moon ritual? And like, yeah. my heart just wanted to relax and watch Bachelor, but I would go and do the full moon ritual because I thought that that's what I needed to do to get what I wanted out of life. But it's like, all it that's did was not take away from your life. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. Actually, taking what we did, we're on separate sides of the bed, melting paper, and we actually did this maybe like last year. Melting we were, paper. Yeah, and making creating ashes and just like remember like sitting there and be like, like what. What am I supposed to be doing? And then Sam's like, put water outside your on your window yeah. panel, and the moon is going to penetrate the water, and then drink it in the morning. I was like, that's kind of fucking. Nice. Take three deep breaths. <laughs> no, seriously, it's moon water. Okay, no, seriously, moons can energize water though. Okay. Okay, but not enough to change your life in any Anyways, significant way. Well, let's so, wrap this up. This it's is a waste getting, of time. This is getting to a ramble. We're at time, so thanks, Rome, for co-hosting again. I think this is going to be the second last episode of 2022. There'll be Ooh. one more, speaking of spiritual, there's going to be one more guest spiritual on. guest on the the podcast for the last podcast of the year. So maybe we'll do some like end of year manifesting with her. We're doing some tarot cards with her, which would be very exciting. I think that's cool for end of year tarot card. Blah, blah, cards. End of year tarot, card. tarot cards. <laughs> See, yeah. But other than that, Merry Christmas. You know what we should do? Merry Christmas. Maybe we'll do like almost like a, a giveaway sort of thing where people will put their names and we'll put in a random picker and then do a tarot card reading for the name that we get picked out. Live on air. If they can call in, they can get like a, a tarot card reading. It's interesting. We're just we thinking all out here. But anyways. Anyways, Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. I think no, this we'll is have, when this go out. Yep. yep. Merry Christmas. And uh, hope you guys get everything that's on your wish list. Peace. Hope you get me what's on my wish list. Nope. <laughs> <Bye guys. laughs>